He says his critics share the blame for years of delays. Today, the developer of Centerpoint talked about moving the project forward and what he says is holding it up. Dudley Webb made the comments during a forum at the University of Kentucky. WKYT's Mark Barber takes us to that forum. While eight years of delays have racked up dozens of detractors, Dudley Webb says he is moving on with the construction of Centerpoint, and he hopes others are ready to move forward, too. We're building the buildings. Now, at some point in time, shut up. That was Webb's strong response when he was questioned repeatedly about funding for the downtown development. He says Centerpoint's underground parking garage should be finished by the end of the year. Webb says he and another man that he's in business with are paying for the $38 million garage. Webb says they have not started pouring concrete yet because they still have to make sure water is not seeping out of limestone in the area. In the next three months, three Webb says retaining walls will perfect. start to go uh, up, and those walls will be followed by an office tower and two hotels, a Marriott and a residence inn. The plans for those buildings are still being modified and improved. Webb thinks part of the blame for all the delays centered around the controversial project falls on journalists and city officials who have sharply criticized the development. He says the negativity can turn away lenders. They see what these people, the naysayers are saying, uh, what crooks we are. It just makes it more difficult, and in spite of that, we're going forward. Webb says the delays that have been frustrating for so many people are also costly for him. He says it costs $35,000 to keep these construction cranes here every month. In Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. So the big question, who is paying for Centerpoint? Webb says the money will likely come from private equity, private investors, and private banks. He says he can't announce who is involved until they sign the contracts.